Well, howdy, little scientist. Are you ready for some more energy lessons? We're going to look today at potential and kinetic energy uh, in two ways. You're going to like today's lesson. It's really fun. Um, we're going to play two different games to explore potential and kinetic energy. The first game is called Potential Penguin. So watch this quick little video clip about the game, and then I'll show you how to play. moving around the ice to uh, to play uh, penguin, potential penguin. It takes a minute to load. So if you click the link that I'm going to put on your drive or your slides and it takes a minute, don't worry, it'll eventually load. It's just kind of slow. And so I've already played it just to see if it was a good game for you to uh, work on potential and kinetic energy. So I've got some levels that are already going here. Um, you will start at level one. Let's see, what level do I want to show you? Um, okay, so um, this is a pretty good level. Uh, what you got to do, this is your velocity. By clicking on the left icon, you push the button towards the left. You push the penguin towards the left. You push towards the right. I'm not going to read all this to you. And what you're trying to do is get the energy to match. This is a kinetic energy. It depends on the velocity. Match it to the shaded energy. So we're trying to get uh, enough kinetic energy. We're trying to get this penguin moving fast enough to match the energy level that's going to pop up right here. And on this level, what you want to do is you want to keep pushing the arrow button until uh, you see a little thing pop up. I'll show you right here. So just kind of keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. It's popped up. Oh, need to go back. There we go. All right. So I, I had to get it filled up there. This game's kind of, this level is kind of simple. That's all you do on this level. But the next level is a little harder. The circle displays the penguin's energy. Green is the potential energy. Red is the kinetic, so it's going to change as the penguin slides. Uh, when he's up on the hill, he'll have more potential energy. When he's moving, he's going to have more kinetic energy. So, or she, if you're a girl and you want your penguin to be a girl. So what we have to do on this one is uh, we want to get, we can use these little arrows. We can raise and make a hill to get him sliding. And we got to get him through the goal over there. We did it. All right, so you'll raise it. This is a simple level to get you ready for the next level, which is harder. And, of course, the penguin loves that you got him through the goal. Well, anyway, that's how you do that. I'm going to let you explore that game on your own and figure out how to conquer those levels. There's a bunch of levels where you'll use these different buttons. It'll show you what buttons to use. If you get confused, there'll be a question mark up at the top that will show you uh, what to do. Um, it'll tell you, explain to you what to do. So enjoy playing Potential Penguin. And the second game, I know you guys are going to like this, is Roller Coaster Creator Express. So I've been playing it too, just to practice. It starts very simple, and uh, it can be, and it gets some harder. But we've got to make sure we're creating enough. Um, I'm going to go to the level that I just got done. And this one, you get to do a loop. You got to make enough uh, kinetic energy. You got to make create your heels high enough with potential energy to get enough kinetic energy to do a loop. So, and if you look, you'll see little stars. I'm going to make it a little bigger. Oh, that didn't work. Anyway, we'll just have to do it right here. Um, but you can see little stars. You're supposed to collect these stars as you are going, going, build, as you're building a roller coaster. You're starting up here and you're ending up down here. You got to get the roller people on the roller coaster down to here. So here's how you do it. First off, if you want to do the, when you get to this one, you just click on the loop and you move it where you want it. I'm going to put it there. Okay. And now I've got to connect pieces of roller coaster to get it here. So uh, what I want to do is click on this. And then I want to just click somewhere and start connecting pieces of the roller coaster to this loop. So click right here. And I'm just going to, once I click and hold it down, drag my mouse to connect it. Okay. So I'm getting that star. Looks like I'm going to hit all those stars 
Now I've got to connect my roller coaster from there to there. So I'm going to click on this again, click on the end of the track and drag it over to connect it. And once you think you've got your track made with enough kinetic energy to get around that loop, then you can hit the play button right here. Okay. When you hit that, you'll see the roller coaster travel and the roller coaster you created. Oh. Well, boy, did I goof it up. I didn't connect it all the way to the top. I forgot. <laughs> well, you can see what happens if you don't do it correctly. So I didn't, I forgot to collect my, connect mine. There we go. You can click and drag your, move your screen around if you need to. So I'm going to erase that piece and I'm going to try this again. I'm going to click from up there and go down the, go down the, well, look right here though. I got to get that. How can I do this? So I'm going to go straight down about right there. And then I'm going to click another piece from here to here. All right. You think it's going to work this time? I hope so. Let me try hit the play button again and try it. <laughs> All right. So again, it's just fun, but you're going to find that if you don't give your roller coaster enough kinetic energy, it will not have enough energy to get around loops or go up hills. So you've got to build it correctly to make it work. Again, it's working with kinetic, kinetic and potential energy, both the penguin game and the roller coaster game. And so uh, just think about those types of energy as you design roller coaster as you try to get the penguin through the goal and uh, you'll have a good time playing this today for science it's a good website called science at home that i got that from um, so if you wanted to ever go to science at home it's got different games too it's got different different uh, kind of things there's other things down here about energy there's a coaster creator there um, so i've um, got a video informational videos on potential and kinetic energy so you're welcome to go and explore this site too. Again, it's called scienceathome.org. And you want to look for games or type in energy and it'll pull up um, the games, okay? Content kinetic energy. All right, have fun exploring these games today for your science lesson. And make sure you know what kinetic and potential energy are. And this is a little way to do it without work, working in a book or answering questions, but by using it to conquer levels. So have fun doing it. See you later.